A few people southern Israel on Thursday were seen near the fragments of an Iranian missile that was intercepted by Israel near Arad. The Middle East moved closer to a long-feared regional war the day after Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel and Israel said it began limited ground incursions into Lebanon targeting the Iran-backed Hezbollah militia. Israel said it intercepted many of the missiles, and officials in Washington said U.S. destroyers assisted in Israel's defense. Iran said most of its missiles hit their targets. There were no immediate reports of casualties. On Tuesday night, Iran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel in what it said was a retaliation for attacks that killed leaders of Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Iranian military. It referenced Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and Revolutionary Guard General Abbas Noforishan, both killed in an Israeli airstrike last week in Beirut. It also mentioned Ismail Haniya, a top leader in Hamas who was assassinated in Tehran in a suspected Israeli attack in July. Four Russian journalists went on trial in Moscow on Wednesday on charges over their alleged work for a group founded by the late Russian opposition politician Alexei Navalny. Antonina Faverskaya, Artyom Kriger, Sergei Karolin and Konstantin Gabov all deny the charges of involvement with an extremist group that have been levied against them. Faverskaya and Kriger worked with Sodavision, an independent Russian news outlet that covers protests and political trials. Gabov is a freelance producer who has worked for multiple organizations, including Reuters. Carolyn is a freelance video journalist, he has done work for Western media outlets, including the Associated Press. As the four journalists were led into the courtroom by police on Wednesday, a crowd of supporters greeted them with applause. Addressing reporters from behind the glass, Artyom Krieger cast the case against him and his fellow journalists as a cautionary tale and urged journalists still in Russia to leave the country. Antonina Faverskaya spoke about hope and suggested that, everything that is happening now, the darkness that surrounds us, it is not forever and we will definitely see the country that Alexei dreamed of and will definitely live in a country where there will be freedom, rights, where journalists and other people will not be jailed for their opinions. Shortly after the hearing began, the judge ordered to hold the proceedings behind closed doors upon a request from the prosecution, even though the defense objected to it. If convicted, the four journalists face up to six years in prison. Пожалуйста, никогда не забывайте об этом, что история, она повторяется, и 
то, что происходит сейчас, это тьма, которая нас окружает, это не навсегда. И мы обязательно увидим ту страну, о которой мечтала Алексей, мы обязательно, обязательно будем жить в той стране, где будет свобода, права, и где журналисты и другие люди не будут следить свое мнение, не будут следить за то, что они не хотят этой войны, не будут следить за то, что... У нас сейчас такая власть. Гриш, сколько раз не ездил на сот? Гриш, я залезу, а что ему не будет? Как тебе удается оставаться такой красивой? За решеткой ты выглядишь... Не в камеру. Ну, просто не видишь, да лучше.